you very much. It's good to be here again. And uh, I remember uh, it was, I think, on December that we saw each other. Uh, it was a rainy day, and, uh, and it uh, was symbolized by the pain and the suffering you already have to endure 51 years. Dear friend, thank you for the opportunity to speak at your conference again, which is held to commemorate that it's 50 years ago that new Guinea Council was installed. Um, as I said last December, I had the opportunity to speak to you, and I made a reference there, and out of the Bible that spoke was spoken to it, your people are my people, and your God is my God. And as a Gentile, what root was not a part of the people of the Promised Land, but by her act, she was adopted into that family and eventually became part of the genetics that led to Jesus. Unfortunately, the same cannot be said of West Papua. For years, your people have been striving for respect for human rights, for the right not to be arrested when raising the flag, for the right not to be shot when demonstrating, for the right to wear your indigenous clothing. There's a good reason that we, as members of the Dutch Parliament, are being called upon to take a stand on what is happening at the other side of the world. In the flyer I received on your theatre piece, I read the following words. Papua was abandoned as a child by the Dutch father and had to grow up under terrible circumstances under the rule of its Indonesian stepfather. It is true that the Netherlands has a moral and historical obligation towards your people. In my context with the ambassador, I have repeatedly addressed the plea of West Papua. I can tell you how my party, the Christian Union, has raised the way in which the citizens of West Papua suffered for years and years. This fact, however, gives me little reason to be proud. In fact, it is saddening to see how little the situation has changed. When I read back the answers given to the parliamentary questions some 10 years ago, they are almost exactly the same as those given by our current Minister of Foreign Affairs, Mr. Rosenthal. The same can be said for the implementation of the Special Economy Law. That law stems from 2001, but still it awaits effective impl implementation, which my colleagues and I have pled both with our Ministry of Foreign Affairs as well as with the Indonesian Ambassador to respect the rights and freedoms of the Papuas as well as to be effective within the implementation of this law. The situation in West Papua has deteriorated in the recent periods. People have been killed, arrested or otherwise violated in their human rights. It is for that reason that also the Dutch Parliament has taken a stand by adopt adopting a motion not to sell Dutch tanks to Indonesia. Irrespective of the question whatever or not Indonesia will actually use those tanks as an instrument to their own citizens, I would like to think that they don't. But at the same time, I won't take the risk of selling the Dutch tanks to the Indonesian government while there is a risk and while there are human rights violated against the people of West Papua. I know that there are some that support your cause that are tired of slow progress and negative developments, including the violations of human rights. I know some believe that political and diplomatic instruments have failed and that the time has come to take another road. My message to you is short and simple. Do not give up. It's my prayer, however, that those striving for your cause remain to do so peacefully and democratically. My message to the Indonesian government is clear. Demilitarize West Papua. Respect fundamental human rights of those living in West Papua. And do not arrest, attack or harass peaceful demonstrators. Bring those who did so to justice. Do not limit the rights of those wearing indigenous clothes. Do not arrest those raising the Papuan flag. To you here, I end this message. In the Dutch Parliament, you will find allies in your struggle for the respect of fundamental human rights and autonomy. You will find an ally in the Christian Union, and you will find an ally in me. Thank you very much.